Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Abia. This is your first time here. Um, today I'm going to be doing this very simple half cut, neutral half cut crease. Um, I'm going to be using the Bad Habits Aurora. I cannot say the name of this palette for the life of me. I've been practicing forever and I can't get it but is this palette right here and it's actually supposed to be a dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills prism palette I had seen it on a couple of other youtubers um, pages and I was like "Ooh, I want the palette I wanted the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette but if I can get this one right here for $12 and it does the exact same thing then I'm gonna do it so I went ahead and ordered it. I ordered it from Hush.com. Um, it was free shipping. It was $12 flat. And I think I, I got like a free gift with it. So I got like a free like nail polish with it or something. And it came in a couple of days. And here it is. Shadows are so freak, freaking pigmented. The only thing is is that it does have fallout. But I don't really care about fallout as long as it's not whole chunks. Because don't nobody got time for whole chunks of shadow to be coming out anywhere. But um, if it shows up on me, I'm happy. And let's not also forget, I got my Fenty, my Rihanna lip paints in Uncensored. This is the prettiest red lipstick, lip color that I own. I had one. My Ruby Roo was my used to be my number one. That was my go-to. This took its place. I freaking love this color like I want to go back and buy another one because I don't know if this is limited edition or not but I freaking love this lip color if you haven't went and picked it up you need to it is hella bomb it is hella bomb but anyways if you want to see how I got this look please keep watching all right we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna use the bad habits Aurora palette right here I know I said that wrong. I I apologize. I'm gonna use um, Mystique right here as a transition color. Look at that. This palette is twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Packing most of it to the outside of my um, V upper V crease, and then just brushing it inwards and then swirling it onto the top slightly above my crease next I'm gonna go into this shade right here vibe it's this really really pretty chocolate brown color and I'm gonna place it on the outer V of my eye and bring it into my crease. Going back with this first brush and kind of blending these, um, these two together so I can get rid of this harsh line. Then I'm gonna go back with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn and kind of cut, half cut my crease. And I'm literally gonna go to um, a little bit over. No, I'm gonna go half my, um, my eyelid. For some reason, the first time I did this, I set my cut crease with my Sasha Buttercup powder and I put the eyeshadow on top and it made it very powdery and chunky and it was just, it was not cute. And then I messed up my eyeliner so I had to, 
take it off and start all over again but this time I'm actually not going to set my concealer with the Sasha Buttercup I'm gonna go straight into the eyeshadow and I'm gonna use this um, color right here dream state and I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna pat it on and hopefully this will work oh yeah she's working better already this eyeshadow is vit the fallout is there there's a lot of fallout but for it to be $12 and it be this pigmented, I'm okay with it. As long as there's like no chunks, I'm okay. And then I'm gonna go back in the palette and use this color Haze right on the end. It's like a mauve pink color. And I'm gonna take a little bit of it and pat it on top of the Dream State. Blend the mystique some more. Pat a little bit more of the vibe on the outer V and kind of pat it on the line so that it won't have such a straight line. It'll blend together a little bit better. I'm gonna take the number six BH Cosmetic Brush and take Vibe and kind of dust it a little bit up here. I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm gonna use the Benefits Roller Lash and just apply it on my top lashes. Then I'm gonna go and use the lashes that I got from um, Amazon. It's called the Lancaz Lashes, false eyelashes, and I'm going to use these top pair right here. They're different lashes. They're all different styles, but I'm gonna use this top one. All right, after I then struggled putting on these damn lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer on, and I'm gonna use my Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation in Chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put these on off camera. This foundation has such a pretty finish and a pretty skin-like finish. I'm really surprised I don't hear that many people talk about it, but I really like the finish of it. And it's $20, which is like really, really good for like a high, higher end foundation. I'm just gonna set it with um, some Cover FX Translucent Deep Powder. Okay, for highlighting and um, contouring, I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Radiant in Amand, and I'm going to contour with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso. I'm like scraping it. Ah. I got another one. to be busted open, but I'm about to use all $30 of this. And I think I'm gonna actually go and add a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Concealer, just under my eyes, just a little bit. Sasha Buttercup setting powder. All right, I'm gonna set my contour with the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Coffee and Cocoa Palettes. 
is so freaking cute. Now, if this smelled like chocolate, girl. Mm. And I'm going to be using the color Anti Depresso right here. And then for everywhere else, I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses Matte Finish Powder Foundation on like my forehead area and my jawline. This is some good stuff, but this packaging and white for brown makeup. Ooh, honey, she stay dirty. She stay dirty. I'm gonna add a little bit more setting powder to my um, crease, my small lines. I'll be smiling too much, man. These lines are disrespectful. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Cover FX translucent powder in deep, just to kind of blend everything together. I mostly add it to where I added this, um, where I added the Sasha Buttercup, just to kind of like tone it down a little. Let me just go ahead and finish my eyes. I'm gonna go back into the Aurora. Aru Arua, oh fuck, palette, and I'm gonna use Mystique, and I'm just kind of brush it on my um, waterline. I'm gonna take a black um, black eyeliner and just fill in my waterline. want to do an inner tear I think I do there's this really 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 pretty gold it's called soul in here I think I want to add yeah I'm gonna add it I have an elf eye crease brush that's gonna be my inner tear drop brush for now and I just wet it using my little Travel size Smashbox proto photo finish primer water. All right, for um for a highlight, I'm gonna use the Jackie Ina collab in Le Bronze, her Diamond Glow powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of the LeBrons on top of the sole in my inner teardrop tear area. And then I'm gonna go into the Fenty Beauty Uncensored Lip Paint. Y'all, this is so nice. Like, this is so heavy. I feel like it's nail polish. I love me a good red lipstick like and I used to be so scared of red lipstick I set it with my Smashbox photo primer water mm -hmm. 